because the ammo is right there and it's actually pretty easy to uh, to go get because you can simply simply run go off that and if you have the PhD flopper then you can dolphin dive off it and uh, and do some damage that way as well so um, it's up to you guys if you want to aim for headshots at this point personally I think you're probably better off just getting points by spraying into the horde but uh, yeah so this is basically what you're just going to be doing it's really really easy uh, you just got to keep your nerve and and don't be you know it's like a uh, pacifism in geometry wars if you guys have ever played that um, just look for the safe route you know and uh, that that right there is a perfect example of why you really need juggernaut because um, you can get double hit really really easily doing this strategy and uh, that can very quickly be the death of you so you just want to look for holes in the crowd like that like if, if you lose your nerve at that point um, then you're kinda screwed so but I've got them all rounded up. It doesn't look like they're spawning anymore. So at this point, you are pretty safe to spray into the crowd. Get some nice point of ruse. Um, out of ammo, but I got the Spectre still. So, of course, once you get a pack a punch one, then it obviously solves some ammo problems because you can take out zombies so much quicker. But um, yeah, so just uh, just keep your nerve. Run around in circles, get them all mobbed together like this. It, it really is a pretty, pretty simple and easy strategy. Um, and you, you really want to be mindful of your surroundings, and uh, you know, be ready for zombies to spawn because they can spawn in pretty bad areas sometimes. So just be ready for that. And then it's simple. It's as simple as spraying into the crowd for points. Um, I mean, I'm at round 9, and I have 13,000 points, so. At this point, there's one zombie left. I'm just going to kill him and go buy uh, MP5 ammo. Because you can't really do much damage if you don't have any ammo, so. I've got 14,000 points. I'm going to do one more round of this, and then, ah, oh, crap. I was afraid of that, too. I was thinking it in the back of my mind. Space monkeys are going to come. But, uh, yeah, just run to Juggernaut. Make sure you keep them off that. And, uh, and you'll be fine. So, and they just attack the machine. So, really, you can hang out here and just take them out. It's pretty easy. They're taking revive. Uh, I guess I'll just I'll go try and save it. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty easy oh darn they took it but that's okay I have enough points to, to buy it back and I got a max ammo out of the deal so not, not too shabby if you can you want to try and, and prevent them from taking any of your perks because obviously you don't have to buy them back and you get a perk for killing them quickly enough. Sorry, it's really hot in my room. I had to open a window. Open the window more, rather. I don't know why it's so hot in here. Usually it's like negative a million degrees. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to run this strategy for one more round, get enough points, and, uh, and then go unlock the Pack-a-Punch and upgrade my MP5. So, and if you get pinned off like that, don't be afraid to turn around and go the opposite way. Uh, you don't always have to go straight through. I mean, right now you could turn around and be mostly okay. So, uh, but this this is the hardest part of the strategy: is getting all the zombies together and uh, not getting pinned off and hoarded by them. But uh, once if it, once you get it down, it's it's actually pretty easy. It's a lot like um, five on the Pentagon. So at this point, I'm just kind of spraying to the crowd, get some points really really simple very effective and uh... yeah you notice I'm letting zombies spawn I'm not just uh, killing all the zombies and that's the only threat to this uh, strategy in my opinion aside from making a poor running decision you can get caught in the corner right there and uh, I have almost died doing that before but um... yeah so you want to avoid that and I would just 
buy the revive perk just in case something happens. Um, you know, it's always good to have something to to cover you if it goes if the strategy goes wrong somehow. What is that? Max ammo. Okay. We're getting uh we're getting down to the end here pretty quickly. Uh I think this is the last little group, so I'm gonna make some crawlers and then finish off the rest and then go show you guys how to get the pack a punch. Gotta wait for the insta kill to run out though. I really kinda wanna kill some of them. Okay. Got three of them left. Gonna make a crawler. And there's frag grenades on the wall right there. So it makes it pretty easy to make a crawler. Bingo. Perfect. Okay. Give them all a little blood. Okay. Now. Gotta take this lunar lander first. I hope that didn't kill him. Nope, it did not. Okay. So in order to unlock the Pack-a-Punch, you have to ride on all the lunar landers. Which is pretty easy actually uh, you do have to open a lot of doors to get to them all though so now I have ridden this one um, let's see where are the other ones okay uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of all these I can think of a couple of them and it's always good to repair some barriers while you're running around can't repairing a barrier never hurt nobody uh, Okay. Over here is where the pack punch is. And uh the second uh spot is in there, which I will show you guys once I unlock the pack punch. Which I'm still getting all the all the routes on this map down too, so this is up where Sleight of Hand is. Uh, so there's Sleight of Hand. Luckily I got it from the monkeys. Um here's another lunar lander station. Random box can spawn right here. Uh, I tried to uh, kite in this spot once, and it always turned out very poorly because they come from there and there, and uh, you get pinned off right here. Here's the sickle. It's actually not a bad idea to have, but I'm going to save my points to upgrade. So, got to ride on this one, and then I know where the last one is, too. Lander is cooling down. There we go. Okay. Now, this this these lunar landers can save your butt in uh, a few instances sometimes pretty rarely but they can um, because they will kill well they won't kill the zombies uh, they'll kill any zombies on the lander but otherwise the zombies will just go away they can't get past these bars so that works out well and I do know where the last one is uh, I need to go find it uh, yes it is through here I recall now uh, take a left Here's the 74U, and here is Stamina Up, which I'm going to purchase. And the last Lunar Lander is through here, I believe. Yep, right over here. There's a glitch right here. I, I saw a video on it. You can um, stand, like, oh, that wasn't quite it. If there's a lot of zombies, you can stand, like, um, like that right on the edge there. I'm going to try one more time just because um, you can stand on the edge just like I was and it'll create a barrier and zombies can't get to you but anyways this is the last lunar lander uh, spot. Once I do this then I can uh, try the random box a couple times and unlock the pack a bunch and upgrade the mp5 so now that I have all of them done. I, I don't think I have to ride on this one, but if I do, I, I guess I'll find out. Um, so now, I really should have gone the other way. Hey there, you guys want some blood? You really do need to give crawlers uh, some blood every once in a while. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear me chewing gum. Um, I like gum. Sue me. <laughs> uh, yes, okay, here we go. Boom. Now the rocket will launch. It's pretty cool. I'll let you guys watch it. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah.
yeah, I'll watch it from here. One. Here we go. I'm gonna shoot you down. Okay. Uh, rocket is going off. Boom. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if it just disappears or if it what it does. We're gonna find out, ladies and gentlemen. You saw it here first. Uh, it's a lot of smoke. Probably not very good for the environment. It's gotta just disappear, right? Or do you think it keeps going? I bet it just stops out at some point. Just goes poof, gone. That's still going. Still going. Jeepers. I really put a lot of work into that. Yep, there it went. It stopped. Okay. I win. Alright, let's see if we can get something besides the specter. The AUG, not bad. I'll give it one more go. One or two more goes, whichever. Yeah, I can give it uh, two more, I believe. Ballistic knife, not what I was looking for. I can give it a couple more tries. If that doesn't work, then... Uh, psh, whatever. Come on. See if we can get a black hole. Oh yeah, I'm taking that dude. This thing, thing plows through zombies. Okay, last try. Hey! Okay. Walk across my sheep. Okay, hey there. I just polished these boots. Okay. Now, what was I going to show you guys? Yes, yes, yes. Look at this little Russian doll. Huh, okay. Back a punch this away. This away all. This away. I've never done this room before, but uh the zombie says you can do it, so and I obviously trust him. And it would work pretty well, I think. I mean you can run through here and stuff, so but this is the pack a punch. Nothing else in here besides it. I'll give this room a try for you guys. Uh, hopefully I survive it. If if I don't, then I guess, you know. <laughs> I've never done it before, so it's very possible that I will die. But uh, I'll do two more rounds for you guys. I'll go back to the other spot first, just so that you can see one round for sure. That's nice. Okay. Hello. That's what I'm talking about. Triple kill. Okay, I'm going to do one last round over here, and then I will give the other one a shot. Okay, um, please not monkeys, thank you. Hate monkeys. At this point, it's, uh, really easy to, to do, but, because I have a random, or, uh, upgraded MP5, but, the python is actually very potent. Okay. No more messing around. Um Yeah, so just just keep keep gathering the zombies up in circles like this. Holy cow. See that's why I want to watch your back. He could have caught me off guard there. Um You know, generally speaking, if if uh it's it's a pretty bad idea to spend all your points, uh like I did. Um it's a good idea to keep like a couple thousand, like five, six thousand um, spare, just in case you die somehow and you need to rebuy your perks and possibly weapons. But um, I figure I might as well use the python. It's pretty good, actually. It, it uh, even on upgraded, I think I'll go upgrade this just for you guys, just so that you can see it. I love that you can double tap lion zombies. Hey, death machine. Nuke. Okay, I guess I'm going to be spending another round here unless it's monkeys, which wouldn't surprise me actually. <laughs> 